Are you wondering if you've outgrown a friendship? That's what this week's video is about. I'm gonna share some signs and solutions on when it may be time to end that friendship. But first, my name is Michelle Ferris. I'm a psychotherapist and I love helping people create relationships that work. So friendships are the super glue of life. They get us through the good times, the bad times, and it makes us feel less alone. But when they don't work, it can be really painful and even toxic. And I don't want that for you. So I'm gonna share some signs to look for so that you know when it might be time to end a friendship because you've outgrown each other. So the first sign it might be time to end a friendship is that your values are different. Sometimes this might be something where you've known it all along and it never was really a problem until it was, or things have changed and one person's values are no longer matching yours. Now, I'm not saying that you have to have the exact same values in order to be friends, but I'm talking about the core values that are really important to you and define who you are as a person and what you believe in. This became really evident a couple of years ago during COVID and the election and all the social unrest we've had because that highlighted our differences and many marriages and friendships were strained because they couldn't tolerate those differences. And that doesn't make you wrong or bad, but it is important to consider if your values are different, that may be time to consider ending a friendship. If you've ever had to end a friendship, I want you to say me too in the comments because you're not alone. And if you wanna share the reason why it ended, I'm really happy to listen to that. So the next sign that it's time to end your friendship is that what originally bonded you together as friends no longer exists. Sometimes a friendship starts when you have a common goal to lose weight or to exercise or to be in recovery or a common interest. And the problem is, is that when those interests or those goals change, sometimes that impacts the relationship if that's what the relationship was based on. You know, I've had friendships where our interests are no longer aligned and it's just time to part. And I think part of my own codependency recovery is realizing that not every relationship or friendship goes the distance and that's normal. That doesn't mean you can't do relationship. It just means that sometimes people don't last forever in our lives and that's okay. Now the next sign that it might be time to end a friendship is that you no longer feel supported. In fact, when things happen that are difficult or when you're in a crisis, you notice that you don't wanna call them because you don't feel supported anymore. Or maybe they're giving you a lot of harsh advice or criticism so your intuition is actually red flagging this as an issue because when we don't go to someone for support, there's usually a reason and I want you to trust that because it's really hard to go to someone for support if we don't feel like they're gonna listen or we feel like they're gonna compulsively give advice when really all we need to do is talk things out. But if you don't feel supported in your friendship and it's a consistent pattern, then it may be time to consider reevaluating or ending the friendship. The next sign that it might be time to leave because you've outgrown the friendship is that there are conflicts that can't be resolved. Maybe you've tried to talk something out and it just fell flat because that other person got defensive or they didn't want to have that type of conversation or maybe they don't do personal growth work and you are and that's really created a mismatch. Not being able to resolve conflict in friendship is just as important as in an intimate relationship because knowing how to navigate conflict is a really important skill in any relationship. So the next sign you've outgrown a friendship and it may be time to end is that the relationship feels more like an obligation, something you should do, not something you want to do. So maybe when they call, you have a pit in your stomach and you feel dread instead of, oh, I can't wait to pick up the phone and talk to them. That's a real sign that something's wrong and that you may need to reevaluate that friendship because friendships shouldn't be obligations. They shouldn't be a bunch of favors that you're constantly doing for the other person. Healthy friendship is based on mutual need and support without getting super dependent on each other. Now, what might keep you stuck in this one is feeling like you should like this person or I don't know what's wrong with me that I don't want the friendship. I've had this several times over the years where I have a gut feeling that, you know, all of a sudden I feel dread instead of glad to see them. And I always have to pay attention to that because that tells me something's changed and I have to honor it. So if you find that you don't connect anymore in your friendship, there's a reason for that and I want you to trust it. 
Now, the last sign that you're outgrowing a friendship is that you no longer feel safe to share intimate details or personal information with them. Maybe you're afraid they're gonna gossip and it's gonna come back at you in some way, or they're gonna criticize you, or maybe even they make a joke of what you're saying. All of those things don't make people feel safe. So if you don't feel safe to share personal information, again, there's a reason for that and I want you to trust it. So let's get to the solutions. So the first thing I want you to do when you're considering ending a friendship is to honor your feelings. Because I know for me, whenever I consider ending a friendship, I always feel guilty. I always feel like, oh God, should I really be doing this? But then right after that, because I've done my work, is I trust that if I really need to end a friendship, there's a reason why, and I have to trust that. This is where you might wanna do some journaling and really be honest with yourself about why you are starting to question this friendship or why you may not want that friend in your life anymore. Because I guarantee you, you're gonna understand why you feel the way you do. So the first step in your healing is to really honor how you feel and not judge yourself because you're not wrong for feeling that way. The next thing I want you to do is I want you to practice detachment because sometimes we're not ready to end a friendship, but we don't want as much contact. So detachment can be a really great tool because detachment can help create some healthy separation. And what this looks like is maybe when they call you, instead of automatically responding really quickly, you wait a day. You don't wait a week, you know, you don't wanna be inconsiderate, but don't respond as quickly. If they ask you to go for coffee and you really don't wanna go, say you can't go and let that be okay. Start saying no politely, that you just don't have the time and you, you're not able to do that. Now, eventually they may ask, if you feel safe enough to bring it up and say, you know, I just don't think we're a good match to be friends anymore, that can be a really powerful conversation to have. But if some of these other signs are going on, like you don't feel safe or you don't like their reaction when you start to talk about more intimate things, then you may not choose to be honest with them about that because practicing detachment can be a loving way to create some distance. The next thing I want you to do to heal yourself when you're considering ending a friendship is to start grieving the loss. And you don't have to wait until the friendship is over to grieve the loss because if you're questioning the friendship, it's probably already changed for you. And you probably already have emotionally opted out of that friendship to a large degree. So there's usually some grief with that. And instead of saying to yourself, I shouldn't feel this way, I want you to let yourself feel that way and really honor the grief. You know, I had a friendship, a really close friendship end about five years ago, and I plummeted into intense grief for several months because she was like a sister to me. And that was the best thing I ever did because that helped me come out the other side and actually realize that I had to be my own best friend first. And as corny as that sounds, and as much as I fought that through all my years in recovery, when I finally was willing to actually do it and start enjoying my own company and not relying so much on other people, I started to get even healthier. And now my friendships are a lot healthier than they were because I don't need people to complete me. I enjoy people and there's a choice in that. And that's what's really healthy. So the next step for you is I want you to go watch my video on the seven signs of a healthy friendship. Thanks so much.